Welcome to the Yukon and North 61. Bison hunting on Friday, so I'm getting the guns ready. I've got some really uh, funny feedback. One guy said, man, you're a really good conservationist because I sometimes get ready and don't get anything. Well, a lot of hunting pressure in the easy, pla- easy places to get to, in the even in the Yukon. So you go out lots of times and you don't get stuff, that's hunting. But I'm always ready. And you will often see one-shot kills from from me. And it's not because I'm magic. It's because I my guns are always sighted in and I always know what they're going to do at the ranges I hunt at. So I spent a lot of time here at the range and it's really paid off in not a lot of suffering on animals. Now, hopefully I can keep that up. Fingers crossed. So rather than me telling you, why don't you tell me? Uh, three rifles, 9.3 by 62. They had a nice styre, shooting really, really good groups, although I'm not quite sure of the uh, trajectory curve. I wasn't hitting the 200-yard gongs with it because I wasn't sure where it was shooting, even though I knew it was 3 inches high at 100. The uh, 458 Winchester Magnum, which I was hitting that 200-yard gong with, and I've got figured out to about 250 yards. Or the 358 Norma, which is a little easier to shoot uh, from all positions. And I was, uh, I've got the trajectory figured out to uh, 350 yards with 275 grain wood lace. So, uh, which one would you take and why? 286 grain bullets at about 2300 feet per second. A moderate load out of my 9362 with Varget. You notice there was no flinch there. No flinch at all. That's a thunderous amount of recoil. That's really great. Maybe shoot a bit high. And there is the 9362. I'm shooting one, two, three inches high. 275 grain Barnes Originals, 2600 feet per second. IMR 4350, 358 Norma. This, I believe, is getting close to the ultimate bison rifle. These medium bores. They're fast. They're good right out to 300 yards. The bullets will expand out there. Uh, where the 9.362, uh, very great caliber, a little slower will the bullets expand. Probably, but not as well. So this is where a little more speed. This gun is a lot like a 30 odd 6 on some kind of steroid. Oh, we got up to six. Same scope, Huskama. I got a good deal on these guys. Uh, let's see how this guy shoots. More kick, but not too bad.
I love it. I love that gun. 275 wood lace bonded bullets. First time I've ever tried these. So this is again at about 2600. Nice mile load. These bullets have a really excellent sectional density. They're about like shooting a 200 grain 30, 205 grain 30 caliber bullet or so. So, very nice bullet. Let's see how these guys shoot. Shooting at the same target. I moved it over. I was shooting about two inches to the left. There we go. Make sure that's the right target. Yep. Nice. 400 grain Barnes Originals. In the 458 Winchester, some people are wondering what I did with the scope. Uh, the two and a half had a, I broke it on this gun. So I sent it back to Leupold. This is a four power mini Burris. And it's got enough of elevation, so uh, it's also a nice, it's got really good uh, eye relief, which is what you look for when you got a gun that can hit you in the face. And the recoil almost straight back, so I don't get badly uh, damaged. Okay, here we go. by sinuses. Okay, that cleared the other sinus. Was the easiest shot of all because you get used to the recoil. Okay. Okay. 200 yards. 400 grain. Barnes original. Let's see if I can get that bugger. Yeah. So I was shooting a uh, boat. Two, th maybe two or three inches low at uh, 200. So I'm, I'm uh, probably on at about 150 yards. Okay, so this gun, ready to go, sighted in for 150 yards. Will this take a Bison, a 450 Winchester Magnum? Are you kidding? Norma. We'll save uh, save our woodlays, and I'm going to go with uh, a little less accurate bullet in this Barnes. But I still think I'll hit that target. Uh, I think I'll aim right on. It's a hit. 
And let's just for fun try the 300 yard gong. This won't be on target. But let's see if I can get it. Or better yet, I'll go with the 250 grain bison. Uh, no, I'll go the I'll go the 300 target. Yeah, listen for the clang. It's a hit. Uh, it's the advantage of the 358 is I've got 300 yards. Uh, easy, easy. It's just like shooting a 30 odd six. When you're used to the 30 odd six curve, and you come to the 358 Norma, boom! And this six power Huskama has got the the drop uh, reticles. I just I just put that right on the first, and away it went. That's a four MOA drop because uh, it's about it's on at a, about 180, and it's on with that four MOA drop at about three. 15, 320. Hard to leave this gun at home. So let's take a look at what kind of groups we're getting. Oh, they're 458. That's uh, inch and three quarters. Pretty good. 350 Norma. Inch and a half. And there is is the 9362. I'm shooting one, two, three inches high.